What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Resident Evil. This is episode 13? 12? The last episode was... <laughs> 12, 13... So I think this is 14. Um, now, if this episode isn't long enough, I will probably... Because I'm, I'm filming these back to back, I'll probably edit these together. So, uh, if not, I'll, this will probably get cut out. But if... Uh, uh, if, if this is going to be a longer episode, uh, welcome back to another episode. Last episode, we basically killed Mia pro properly this time. Which I, f I feel bad now, because we didn't choose her to, to save. But my logic was that we, we choose Zoe because she knew how to make the cure, quote-unquote. I don't know if it actually even worked. Um... So, like that, that was apparently the cure that she knew how to make. So we chose her because then she might be able to make it again and that sort of thing. Um, but now it kind of felt bad because then we played as Mia to save Ethan. So, uh, it, which I, I really liked that aspect to the story where we play as Mia and we kind of... Because... She was a bit suspicious in the beginning, and I think that was intentional by the, the writers, where they're like, we're going to make her um, kind of seem like the enemy, the bad guy, be suspicious of her, and then we'll kind of redeem her later. And it, it made it more impactful, especially because we got to play as her. So not only did we... The, the fact that we got to play as her, and we, as the, as the player got to experience like the struggle of getting down to Ethan uh, made that kind of connection to Mia like oh she went through all of this to save us made her death a little more impactful so uh, I really I really like that it was a really clever way of um, making us care about the character and that's that's one thing that I really uh, enjoy when it comes to story based games that's why I love story based games is uh, character growth and um, like just the, the nuances in telling a story with character and our ability to connect and relate to characters through the stories that we uh, watch or that we play or that we read that we read um, that I think that that's kind of like the best aspects to storytelling and that's kind of the thing that I love about this art form and they did a really good job I, f I felt bad afterwards. Um, but now, now we're going to get revenge. So, which... Oh, wait, the thing fell down. Okay, because we, we just... So we have nothing. So we're going to have to just run from any enemy. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'll have no emotional connection to you, like Mia did. It's all your fault. Is that what a note says or something? Oh, here you go. Oh, that's what the writing says. Right. Nah. It's your fault, little girl. Okay, well. Escape into the darkness. Hold on. There's a red door. Do we have to come back? Maybe that just means it's locked. Locked to us. Oh! Oh! 
A heli helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Where are we now? Swamp. Is this part of the house? It's like an oil. Well. Oh, it's a fish. Hello, fishy. It's weird. I'm. No longer on edge. I got this way when I was uh, fighting the the mother and the brother. Um, like I I I stopped being afraid at some point, and I think it's because I had the shotgun and stuff. But I I have that feeling again. I don't know I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm like on a mission now. The, the path is clear or something, so I'm, I, my mind's less spread out, so I'm more focused, so I can focus on being ready. Okay, uh, February 18, 1892. Uh, there was a collapse in the Preston, uh, Patterson, Preston, I don't know why I said that, P uh, Patterson Mine. Uh, Tuan, tu Tuan, Tuan, Ta Tam? I don't know how to say that. And Beckford are dead. And Hux Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground was too unstable. Okay, so this is like a... Uh, an oil well? Oil mine thing? Coal mine? The company's not... The company's not going to send us any replacements... They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. The old country. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Why is it not? It's, oh, it's a salt mine. Ah. So we came up. Anything cool. Key or lockpick, I think. Oh, helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the oh, property. Did they I'm gonna go have her. a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Right, the brother was a, a soldier, wasn't he? Hey, it's the cages. Oh, am I? Hello. You've taken me as things. Oh. Oh. Five coins. We're missing a coin. Alright, let's let's get equipped. A my man. Welcome back. Wait, is this the the strong one? Uh a pump shotgun. So they've they're more efficient up close, yes. Doesn't hold much ammo but packs a punch. That one's the strong one. Not that one. Uh, the power handgun. Use relatively powerful handgun. We want that one. We want our knife back. No way we can break the thingy. And we want to make some heals. 
first aid meds. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, we already got a lockpick. Toy axe. We don't think we need that. Gun shells will take. Handgun ammo will take. Ants to handgun ammo will also take. Oh, survival knife. Holding knife. It's the same. Corrosive, yes. Like that. Ooh, remote bombs. Okay. We're switching out the pistol. Maybe we keep the pistol. We use the knife on the on the statue first. Little bobblehead. And then we'll switch to the gun. Uh feed a sort. Which one was the high powered one? Standard. A small standard powerful handgun. Back edition. Standard power. Wait. Where's the more powerful hand? Standard power handgun. Standard power, standard power. Relatively powerful, I guess, this one. Okay, so they, we've got to remember, 19. M19. Definitely need this. That's for the rocket launcher. Right. We got we got these, but maybe if we need it, we can switch out the grenade launcher. We don't have much shotgun shells. We got seven all up, but the shotgun's pretty boss. So, handgun ammo got thirty. All right. So let's use this. Dang it! 
swamp. So we can't really go anywhere. So we go investigate the mine. So I think the last coin's probably in here. Oh, save. Wreck. Uh, save, it, save it a second. Second slot. Alright. Put this back, and then we go over this. A boom. Okay. Alright, what can we craft real quick? Find some heels. Can't believe I used up my shotgun shells. Alright. Pistol ready. I don't know which ammo is. Oh, wait, hold on. It shows with the plus. Okay, this is the enhanced ammo. We'll use this. Can they like walk elsewhere? Take that. Oh man, this, the sound is just creepy and immersive. It is so good. into an elevator. I did not expect to go from a house to an abandoned ship to some underground mine. Also, salt mine. Oh, hello. I thought I thought salt was collected by you get salt water, it dries out. Oh, hello.
Okay, so this is the brothers doing. Maybe? Oh, I'm using the good ammo, aren't I? I've been using up the enhanced ammo like a stupid idiot. Is there a way you still come with me? You know what, I'm just gonna... Maybe I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god, please. Game. Thing over here? Nope. I'm on my last two shotgun shells. Oh, maybe there's more of yeah. Please. I mean machine gun shells, I suppose. Or rather machine gun ammo. That was almost bad. Friday, January 19, 2015. Thank you guys, it's been about, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Uh, not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. <laughs> 
Mom and Dad are still totally under... Under, though. I was wondering... Is the whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? That's kind of fucked up. Is this... Is this what the... Brother, or is this... Hmm. That bitch Mia is still... Uh, somewhere... In between... Everland and reality. Ever La La Land and reality. She's getting pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn uh, would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She's actually... She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mummy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. So the brother is involved with the kidnapping, is what I'm what I'm gathering, because he was part of like the military. Uh, Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap. Uh, more, wait, she's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the streets and add her, f and ha and add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I got, because I got to clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, uh, Evie, uh, Eve, if, if, is he like shortening Evelyn? Uh, Evie's uh, looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and and she's getting gray hairs. Uh, is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Ah, okay, so maybe it's like slowly killing her? Interesting. Okay, so some heal. So let's make some more if we can. Ouch. Alright. And let's continue. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E series infects human. Be sure to read the document uh, thoroughly before dealing with E series weaponized assets, uh, hereafter referred to as mold. Okay. Uh, Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself. It slowly takes over the cells within the body. As the, as a side effect of this, the infected subject uh, re, uh, rather, uh, gains remarkable regenerative abilities. Uh, during experiments, uh, we removed arms and legs from the test subjects and found that they were able to uh, co-apt co co-apt I guess that's a word uh, the amputate uh, the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes I've never heard of that word co-apt uh, mid-stage infection once the mold reaches the brain the subject subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset the subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. Uh, if the state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Uh, complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their, hum their human form Physical mutations differ in case, from case to case, but all results in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject with a, with this stage would be extremely difficult. Wow, okay. Uh, so, is that like a permanent mutation? Is that what those creatures are that I've been killing are? 
as well. That's pretty cool. Alright. Two minutes after. this oh destroys cells of any subject based on the e-series bioweapon model Used only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must be first uh, must first be stimulated before use. Do not uh, do this by placing the sample of the E series cells into the uh, necrotoxin container. Okay, so that's basically what I just did. Am I going to like roid up? <laughs> Bet. Special serum for disposal of... Okay, so this is what will kill her. Alright. Uh, the project was uh, instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts from the company uh, Next Bass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance from the HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing, uh, for neutralizing, yeah, neutralizing combatants. And Massey, N Massey, <laughs> uh, with minimal direct contact. Uh, Next bass was later f uh, folded. Late was later folded, and all that. All its assets derived to this project. D diverted to this project, rather. Uh, what makes this project marked... Uh, markedly different... Uh, from conventional weapons is the ability to turn enemy combatants into allies. Converting hostile uh, elements into willing servants. And they gave it to a kid? Uh, so, well, I guess they probably just tested on the kid. What a weird choice of test subject. Uh, since this effectively eliminates the cost of non, uh, not only POW handling, but also combat itself. It's no wonder we had the something and even something something organization chomping at... Okay, so those are redacted stuff, I guess. At the bit of uh, uh, jumping at the bit to get on board the project would never have existed uh, where it's not for the discovery in something of something a remarkably progressed uh, vicariant vicariant evolution uh, fungus that were commonly term uh, that we commonly term the butane <laughs> man why are there so many hard words in this it's got a mutated uh, the fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the blah, 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 <laughs> genome to the pre-stage four human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The, re the result, uh, the result organisms, uh, the resultant organism were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability for the impractical and faulty.
Uh, series A through D to the Perfect E series. A common appearance was selected from the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending with the urban slash refugee population. I guess this is like why they chose a girl. Oh, a common appearance was selected from uh, for the bioweapon that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with the urban slash refugee population. I mean, you could just choose anyone. It's an urban environment. Uh, the first E-series, I suppose, to not cause suspicion, I guess. The first E-series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of uh, secreting the... Blah, 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 from her tissues at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's... Blah, 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 Hold on, I'm gonna learn how to say it. Mut mutam cm mutasium cm u mutam yseti. I'm just gonna go blah blah blah. <laughs> Evelyn's blah 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 impose a profound control over body and mind when introduced to the host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism with by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, which I'm assuming is the whole family aspect or the desire for family. But the working theory is that the vector is similar, the vector is similar to the auto inducer uh, pheromones used to quorum sensing a pseudomonas bacteria. Pseudomonas bacteria. I don't know if that's correct, but that sounds correct. So let's just go with that. Uh, Evelyn control. Uh, Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages. The first of which is hallucinations. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, uh, though she is not in fact there, and even and even her voice which is inaudible to anyone else. Uh, audition, uh, auditions with infected subjects uh, throughout the stages of infection reveal at first the, fan, uh, the phantom Evelyn appears to be normal, to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins to make more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barrier to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is, uh, and by the time mental control is achieved, the blah, 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 infection has progressed through the body cells, so the body blank. Okay, that was that was useful information as not that was very interesting I, I say I like the little bits of lore that we can learn oh we got even more uh, Evelyn's function is uh, also includes the ability to uh, the ability to form organisms from uh, mycelia and fungal fil filla me uh, filaments <laughs> my brain man the term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are super organisms formed from, or formed of countless mycelia. Uh, with, what's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest uh, provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant uh, significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling this superorganism the mold. Made of mold and also molded as in shaped, the name has a certain elegance to it. 
uh, for the treatment of accidental infection, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produce a unique uh, fungicide serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify. Oh, that's why they kind of turn to stone. Uh, but if the subject's cells are already largely evaded, the serum will be fatal. Right. Uh, since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exposing the serum's pot uh, potential, uh, we found that subject to the uh, subject to blank would enhance its effects uh, to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e neuro uh, necrotoxin, which blank in uh, in even tiny amounts. Uh, what's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she was really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but... It could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blend into a social oh, okay into a social group uh, into into social groups than a lone girl okay okay this is all making a lot more sense now that's pretty cool uh, on the other hand well a sentimental sort might suggest that she is making up for the perceived lack of love which is Kind of what I initially thought. In her quarantined uh, upbringing, a parent's love. Yeah, so that's what I, that's what I was kind of going with my, my kind of whole process. But the other, I like the other theory as well. All right, we came in from over there, so we go out this way. All right. What did I just get? Explosives. We're running low on shotgun shells, so I think maybe I'll switch to the grenade launcher. Remember not to accidentally shoot it. Can't we? We can upgrade that, can't we? Combine like combine that with. I know it takes like double though. So. All right, let's save. Yes. All right. And I think is probably a good idea. Especially now that we're running low on... Uh, I wish I had more shotgun shells.
That's better. Make some more back rest. Is that what the song was at the beginning with the, the mini? But that was my fault. That was my. <laughs> that was on me. Well, let me let me turn the cam. I'm not in frame. Okay, we gonna use this, so we gonna be efficient about it. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a shotgun then. Okay, hello. Oh. This is this is a right. Is that us instead of fighting us? Double 
<laughs> Exchange. Getting more shotgun shells, so that's good. I think it's just giving me random stuff anyway. Just based on, like, it probably doesn't know what weapon I'm using, so it's kind of just giving me stuff. I'm sure I at least have some kind of some kind of way to fight back. Climbing on our way out, so. Straight through the lag of battles. Mind map. That's where we just came from. Bridge space. Why do we have a map now? <laughs> we just did all that. Okay. F. Abandoned mine. That's where we're at. F is... There's a section. Section up ahead. Alright, let's save. Alright. Grandmother. Oh wait, are we in the uh, back to like pre pretty much the beginning? Yeah, this is where the shells was. Yeah. Hey. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. that my memory or her making me see things? What's that? What's this? It's not going to be unlocked. Oh, and then this is where she came. Attacked us. Why I just call nine one one? I mean, I beat her up pretty good. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? She trying to. There you go. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't we have done that! Seeing her... Her... Influence on her? It fucking hurts! He doesn't want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Okay, so we're seeing it from kind of like the daughter's perspective now. All right, or the the girl's perspective. Ethan. 
Ethan, help me. Ring? I go that way. That door literally leads to the other side. Supposed to fight her? Oh! Go back home. I don't want to waste my ammo. <laughs> How do I get through? I must go back. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> They're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! I don't see your pity. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> it's up to me. I don't want to waste ammo. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. Am I supposed to shoot you? I can't tell. <laughs> I go. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Me confuse. Oh. It's upstairs again. Did you go, little girl? Get away! Nah. Okay. Don't <laughs> fuck.
finally, God, has some kind of use. Heavy. Hurry up! <laughs> Did I win? You. <gasps> it's a little. Oh. <laughs> Everyone hates me. <laughs> okay, that just that was pretty cool. Didn't see that coming. Ow. Nice reference. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Yeah. What? <laughs> what do I do? I leave? I'll just go shoot that into the tide. That's not fair! Okay, I can't feel it's gonna die. Whee! Did I win? No? Oh god. Oh god! Okay, how do I... Fuck do I fight that? might be a really big reference or something or, like from the other game. So I haven't played them, so I don't know. I have a feeling that there might be someone recognizable there. Because of the whole take off helmet reveal thing. I 
love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Bye. Why? <laughs> We're gonna use that. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. Is it? What are they saying? These guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia the first time. But now I've lost her again. And the only other door I can see is closed. This leads into the next game. Go tell Aunt Rody. Go tell Aunt Rody. Go tell Aunt Rody. True. All right. So that's that. I guess that concludes the end of this series. I was that wasn't expecting the the grandmother to be the girl. That, that was a cool reveal. I didn't expect that. I thought maybe she was gonna be like part of the cure. Uh, skip movie. Oh, is this just friends? Audio director, man. Audio director, top notch. Ten out of ten. Did a great job. The audio was great. Localization director. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what changes they would have made for localization. Difficulty was normal. We played for 12 and a half hours? Or is it the time that it is? What time is it? It's definitely not the time. Uh, <laughs> restarts 12. Okay, not too bad. I, so I died 12 times. Um, what did I miss? Mr. Everywhere's destroyed. Ah, 15 out of 20. Okay. I didn't get all the coins. I was two off. Okay. That was only one. Uh, files obtained. Files obtained. Oh, right. Like the documents and stuff we read. Uh, opened boxes. Uh, healing items used. Stabilizer uh, used. Steroids used. Uh, okay. I have file numbers obtained. Okay, so I unlocked a bunch of stuff. But yeah, that concludes the series. Um, I, I really enjoyed this game. It was really um, extremely immersive. Like the the sound design and the, the clever use of location and like reusing locations. That's something that is done for, like they'll do it in games to kind of save on um, a lot of extra work creating new environments and stuff. Uh, so creating uh, a game that reuses the environment quite a bit um, is is a very clever way of making the work more efficient, which means that rather than spending a ton of time making a ton of different levels, you can spend more of that time making those levels really uh, 
adding all of those details and those story details and just like really polishing up those levels to make them really immersive um and that that was really well done i like the the way that we came back to the the house at the end i thought we'd maybe come back to the trailer i didn't expect them to kind of move the the unlockable cages to like a different spot but that was cool uh because I, I thought what what else do we have left to do we pretty much did everything at the house so maybe there'd be an area unlock or something but no it, there wasn't uh audio wise like i said like i kept saying uh super good like kept f making us feel immersed like just the the little subtle noises of like the the, the dripping or the, the the sound of the goop or just the the howling of the wind and all that sort of stuff this does such a good job at immersing you into the game and creeping you out like it's it's what puts you kind of on edge and you hear things and you're like oh what was that what was that um i, I love that that was so good and it made the whole creepy experience just so immersive and it definitely was done better than i played outlast and outlast is really good like it's one of uh my favorite games in this genre as well um but i would say that the the audio design in this was i think better uh, in a lot of cases and the the story that was told like with the the world building and stuff where you're reading the the documents and they're kind of piecing things together but they're they're drip feeding you with that kind of information i love that because you could go through the game and not read any of it if you wanted to or you could go through and read all of it to kind of get that in-depth knowledge and i i love that aspect because it just kind of especially the way that they did it it was done in a in an organic and like a, a way that was very much uh connected to the world like through newspaper articles or through uh photographs and stuff written on things or journal entries and stuff like that that was that was really well done and i love when you like that's what i love about games is that for movies you sit you passively watch the movie and the story unfold with a book you're a little bit more involved you're turning the pages some books you can You'll read and they'll say turn to this page kind of choose your own ending kind of books and stuff has a little bit of interactive but when it comes to games you have that because you're controlling the character you're just so much more immersed and then the ability to interact with stuff uh just builds on that world building aspect and also that immersive aspect that it's, it's just a whole different field of um storytelling and there's so many different avenues that you can use to tell your your story from the world building and just adding the little subtle nuances and details to the environment that when you look at it it tells a story to the the interactive uh aspects like picking up the, the news articles and reading through them and getting a little bit more story from that and then you also have the movie aspect with the cutscenes uh and stuff it just and then there's also the the audio all of these things work together uh just to to immerse you and to bring you into that world and that story and that's just what i love about games in general making games and playing them and this this is a testament to that i, I love this game this was so good and it will be a game that i'll come back and play maybe in like a couple of years once i've like i'll, I'll remember the story but enough time will have hopefully passed that i i could re uh, replay it and kind of just enjoy it again and I'm glad that you guys got to see my my initial reaction my first playthrough of this game um, I, I really enjoyed it so what did you guys think of this uh, have you played the game did you use my series as a way to kind of uh, learn and kind of experience the game uh, for the first time or did you want to re-experience it through, through fresh eyes um, from another person's perspective uh, let me know in the comments and uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this series. Uh, after this series, I'm not sure where we're going to go. Uh, I haven't yet chosen a new game, so uh, it's going to be a mystery. But I'm thinking Prince of Persia. There's a trilogy I want to also replay, so I might do a series on that. Um, if you guys are interested, hit, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions as well uh, of future games that I should play 
uh, leave them in the comments as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get around to playing uh, Village, uh, like in the as like the next series or maybe down the line. But I'm I'm thinking I will. I'm still trying to kind of work out the whole YouTube thing and work out where I want to go with the with the channel and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here because I think my camera is gonna die. Uh, so I don't want to have the end of it cut off. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey through this game. It's been a blast. And when we come back, it'll be a brand new series. A, it may be a puzzle game series. I got a couple of games. One was called, actually, let me check Steam. I got a Sherlock Holmes Hound of Baskerville game, uh, similar to Nightmare from the Deep. Uh, and then I got another game series. It was actually four games in one. Uh, that I got in a deal. Uh, what, what was the game series called? Let me have a quick look. Uh, it was called The Room. Uh, it was like a puzzle game. Uh, it looked interesting. Uh, so I've got The Room, uh, The Room 2, 3, and The Room 4 Old Sins. Uh, so that might be a future series that I do. Actually, I, that might be the next series. We, I, we shall see. I'm not going to tell you... Uh, what the next series is going to be. It'll be a surprise. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Uh, and uh, if you want to see what the next series is going to be and you want to keep uh, posted on that, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button because that will uh, allow the videos to come up in your, your feed and all that sort of stuff. And it will definitely help out this channel to grow. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. And I have no much more else to say except I enjoyed this this game series and yeah so yeah thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next series